Hi guys, welcome to this 13th tutorial in this series of Programming Peak Microcontroller with Flow Code for Absolute Beginners. This is part 2 of our digital thermometer project. In part 1, we designed the circuit diagram. In this part 2, we're gonna write the code with flow code. Let us go to flow code and start a new project. File, new. We're gonna use the PIC 18F2580. Click OK. The first thing we're gonna do is to configure our PIC microcontroller. Click on build, project options. Here you can see the PIC that we're gonna use. The target is PIC 18F2580. If you wanna change it, you can click on this tab and select a different PIC microcontroller. The frequency, we're gonna set our frequency to 8 MHz. Let's configure the chip. We're gonna disable our MCLR pin. Click on disabled. We're gonna use an internal oscillator. Click on oscillator drop down box. Select internal oscillator. These are the most important configurations that we're gonna need. Click OK. Click OK. In this project, we're going to need an LCD display to display the temperature. In the output group, select the LCD display. We're going to connect our LCD display on port B. The enable bit, we're going to connect it to port B, bit 4. So I'm going to change this to 4. And the RS pin, we're going to connect it to 5. Done. The other thing we're going to need is our, our analog to digital component. As we have learned in the previous tutorial, the analog to digital converter. Select ADC. Connect our analog to digital component, which in this case is going to be our LM35 temperature sensor to analog zero. So I'm not gonna change anything here. In the X properties, I'm gonna leave the default. I'm gonna change here the, the label to LM35, VREF 100, click OK. And now we can start writing our code. The first thing we're gonna initialize our LCD. The component micro, select the LCD, start. This micro is, is used to initialize the LCD. Before you use the LCD, you have to initialize it first as we have learned in the LCD tutorial, okay? Just gonna give it a couple a couple of milliseconds. Let's say hundred millisecond. Then I'm gonna start reading my temperature in an infinite loop so that my project can read the temperature continuously. The first micro I'm gonna need is to read my temperature. Click ADC, read, I'm going to read my temperature as a voltage. If I use the read as voltage, this micro is going to return a floating point representation of the voltage. So I need to, to declare a floating point variable. Add new. This variable, I'm just going to name it ADC going to be a floating point okay use 
So if I read the voltage, the return voltage is going to be stored in this variable ADC. Click OK. The, ne the next thing to do is to convert this floating point voltage into a temperature so that I can display it on the LCD. To do that, I'm going to use this calculation micro. Let me declare two variables. The first variable, I'm going to name it temperature. It's going to be a floating point variable. Click OK. I'm going to say temperature equals to F multiply ADC 500. This function is used to multiply two floating point numbers. We're going to convert the ADC value rate by the analog to digital converter into a temperature representation. In this temperature, we're going to convert it into a string so that we can be able to display it on the LCD. Create a new variable. I'm going to name it temperature string temperature string it's gonna be a string variable and the size of this string is gonna be five click ok we're gonna use the function float to string you can see this function if you click here on the functions you can see i've got f m u l is a function that is used that is used to multiply two floating point numbers we've got f division f subtraction and so on did the function that we're gonna use float to string which is a function that is used to convert a floating point number into a string representation i'm gonna convert temperature into string click ok the next thing to do is to display this temperature on this LCD display let's set our cursor cursor 0 0 basically to start displaying from the top left of the LCD okay LCD print string gonna start by displaying temp is click OK then we're gonna display the actual temperature print string temperature string okay the next thing is to display the degree symbol depending on the type of LCD used this value might be different in our case the value of the degree symbol is 223 click OK and lastly, we have to display the letter C for Celsius because this temperature sensor is, is going to display the temperature in degrees Celsius. Print string C. Okay. Save the project. I'm going to save it. On my desktop, let me just create a new folder. Temp, temp project, save. If I run my project, you're gonna see it's display temp. You can see displaying temp is 0.00. .00. In this simulation, the degree 
is displayed as a letter beta but on the actual LCD it's gonna display it as degree symbol if I change the potentiometer which basically represents the changing of my temperature you can see the temperature changes as well let us build our project so that we can see how it's gonna be displayed in the actual hardware stop the simulation to build a project you can click on build compile to C if you want to compile your project into C compile to X if you want to compile your project to, ger to generate an X file compile to chip if you're gonna compile your project to generate the C the X file and also to start programming in our case we're gonna use compile to X so that it can generate an X file that we're gonna use for our simulation compile to X it's compiling if there is no error it's gonna compile successfully there were no errors it finished compiling click OK let's go to a circuit diagram load our X file right click on the peak edit properties go to the desktop our project is temp project select the X file okay you can set the pro the frequency but it's not gonna matter because the peak is gonna use the internal oscillator click OK start simulation start and you can see it displaying temp is 19.03 degrees Celsius if I can change the temperature increase it you can see the corresponding temperature is displayed on the LCD thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive notification of new tutorials and I will see you in the next tutorial thank you